data governance. What is it? Does it keep you up at night? Well, let's see how we can make it a little bit easier. First of all, it's a set of rules, and it's a set of rules to protect your corporate data, your employees' data, or maybe your customers' data. Now, some governance is really well known, and it might even be imposed on your organization. Examples are HIPAA, which is around health records, and PCI DSS. PCI DSS handling the electronic payment of records. Now, regardless of if it's mandated on your enterprise or not, you as the IT administrator really want to understand the threats facing your data. Uh, these may come from shadow IT, when end users take it upon themselves to use new tools outside of your uh, administration, and they might accidentally expose the company to risks that are unacceptable. Or bad actors, bad actors today trying to introduce malware or ransomware so that they can take control of your data or leak it out of your controlled environment. And so it doesn't have to be hard. Let's break this down to three categories. So while governance can cover a lot of things, I think the three main ones that you should be considering are how do you audit your data? What does access control to your data look like? And how do you secure all of your assets? Auditing, it's pretty simple. You need to know who access data, where, and when. And this comes in really handy after an event has occurred. But you don't want an event to occur, so you want to be proactive. And how can you do that? Well, with audit watches. With audit watches, you can set an audit event on certain data, maybe a special folder or a honeypot, as some of them call it, that has data that you're trying to lure somebody in to take. When they click on that data, when somebody accesses it, an alert is sent to you. So now you can be proactive versus reactive when it comes to governance and breaches. Access control. With access control, you want to start with simple authentication. And maybe it's not so simple. You want to tie in all the industry standards, LDAP, Active Directory, SAML. But then to make it stronger, you need to add in two-factor identification. Geofiltering allows you to limit where data can be accessed. So maybe somebody does have the proper credentials, and somehow maybe they even pass the two-factor identification. But if it's coming from a country or region outside of where you operate, you want to be able to limit or stop it there. Stop emailing files. When you email files, you no longer have any governance over that data. Instead, use secure links. And when you set up these secure links, password protect the data and add a time-based limit, or set the maximum number of times that a link can actually be used. This makes sharing and collaboration of data smart, simple, and easy. And honestly, when it, things are smart, simple, and easy, it eliminates the need for users to go around IT creating shadow IT. And lastly, you need to secure everything. Most applications today, filers and NASs, don't support encryption. And yet the best place to do encryption is in the application itself to keep those keys away from malicious actors. Our SME file fabric handles this for you with AES-256 level encryption. And then of course, you wanna back up and archive your data. And back up and archives today sometimes decrypt your data. Using SME, we can not only replicate it wherever you want or to any cloud, but we can add versioning to prevent things like malware from altering data and then having that data shipped off to another location and corrupting the original as well. It's simply a matter of rolling back one version in case something actually happened. When you think about it, every RFP that your enterprise is looking at today includes some sort of section on how you're going to protect that customer's data. Implementing your own data government scheme now is going to allow your corporation to grow and prosper. Take this nightmare scenario that you're in today and turn it into a simple walk in the park. Are you ready to implement your own corporate governance? Well, Storage Made Easy makes it simple. Trial our enterprise file fabric. Do you need more protection at home? Well, no problem. We have a personal edition as well. Sign up for a SaaS account or run our file fabric in your own home. Want to learn more? Storage Made Easy can show you how to protect your emails by sending links. Just click that video at the top. And lastly, to keep up to date, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.